As many of you know, I like to share my mistakes. And uh, I made a big one this time. I've made so many wings, probably the last three wings I've probably made with virtually no corrections, no significant fixes. So this time I jumped on the wing, just got into it and got all the ribs glued to the spars and trail the trailing edge and then the spars. And I came over here and I realized that the rear spar, the angle to it was a quarter of an inch back. I've cut it off. I've cut it free and then I decided, no, I got to go make a video about this. Okay. So this here rear spar was this direction, a quarter of an inch. And it, it, all the way down through, there's no way to stress it. And you don't want to stress it because then all your ribs are going to be bent and bent and bowed. Anyway, um, I share these because I, I have a paradigm that there's lots of people out there that might get real discouraged and just maybe quit or worse, throw something away <laughs> or, or smash it. But uh, anyways, it's really, I mean, it's a lot of work and it's way worth it to do it right the first time and check and dry fit and double check and verify everything is straight and square and level before you start and check it as you work. That's the, that's where I failed. I didn't check it as I worked. So at any rate, what I have to do is I have to take my oscillating saw and you know, I use it like a scalpel and I had to cut all these beautiful tight joints, all of them. They were so beautiful and tight. I had cut all these joints. Now I'll have to use shims. I mean, I needed a few shims, but now I'll have to put thicker shims in them. And, and I don't think I removed enough material that I'll have to add some, but th there might be a couple ribs here where I'll want to scab some material on the side of them. So, uh, well, actually I won't have to because well, maybe in here, but once you get out to the ailerons, you've got a solid piece that comes across here anyways to make it even with the back of the ribs. So that'll go right up against there. But anyway, I just wanted to share this mistake and uh, what it's going to take. And I'm halfway done cutting them free, but uh, always dry fit it, start gluing up. And as you're doing your work, go back and recheck that everything's still square, flat, and level.